Yo, what is up YouTube? Um, and we're gonna go ahead and finish up day five. It is called We Did More Than Kiss. I don't know what that means, but I'm excited. Last time we left off, things got pretty hot and heavy with Ty behind the waterfall. If you haven't checked out parts one and two for day five, go ahead and check those out um, when you can. Excuse me, rude. Oh, I did want to mention that if you guys have any ideas in terms of what you want to do in between the weeks, the rest of the week, I guess, let me know because obviously they're only dropping one day at a time. It's only three episodes and your girl's always excited. So I'm dropping two or three videos the day they come out. So I was thinking I have a couple options in my head. One of the options would be to replay season two, but I heard if you play a shady game, you can actually lose. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know. The other thing I thought about doing is I am getting married in December of this year. And so maybe I could do a video of what it's like um, planning a wedding during COVID. So if that's something you're interested in, continue to like, comment, and subscribe, and let a girl know what you wanna see more of, what you wanna see less of. Okay, so it's sleepover time. I gotta decide what to wear. So all the girls are gathered in the kitchen making hot chocolate for the sleepover. Yasmin catches our eye. What's up, Yasmin, what you want, girl? She parts her mouth and runs the tip of her tongue slowly across her top lip. Okay, so Yasmin's already coming out the gate, licking her lips. So she's flirting with me. How should I react? Cross your eyes, lick your lips too, or blow her a kiss. I'm gonna give her a shot. So let's um, blow her a kiss. You send a kiss across the room to Yasmin. She puckers her lips up and blows one kiss. If you hear some weird noises, it's my cat. She's licking her paws right behind the camera. No respect. <laughs> Okay, Yasmin's got this stuffed bear with her. Oh my gosh, New Islander, so petty. How do we feel about that? Well, Thotella is bold. So let's say now we're jealous. So that way we at least know that we're like shooting our shot with her. She blushes. Okay, so we're like tiptoeing on in. She says, you can snuggle with me anytime, you know? Okay. So Yasmin's bringing out this different flirty side of her, which I'm definitely liking. Oh. Okay, so they've got this rainbow theme going on. Genevieve says, wow, look at this. The hideaway has been transformed into a snug den with mattresses all over the floor. And there's fairy lights on the walls. That's cute. Right, ladies, what's the plan? Okay, Iona's taking the lead. I say we, oof. A pillow hits her on the side of the head with a woomph. Dang, so Iona just got boom, molly whopped with a pillow. So I'm thinking we're about to get a pillow fight, huh? Mickey's standing there looking guilty. Oh my gosh, did I hurt you? Iona grabs the pillow and swings for Mickey. She ducks and Genevieve takes a hit. Okay, so they're getting, they need to be careful where they're throwing these pillows. Oh my gosh, so we are molly whopping everybody. Okay, what should I do? Ally with AJ, with Yasmin, or be a lone wolf? Thotella can hold her own. She's gonna do it all by herself. Knock all these hoes out. <laughs> you grab a pillow and join the fray. Eventually the pillow fight dissolves into giggles and everyone flops down onto the mattresses. What were you gonna suggest, Iona? You know, before you got molly whopped with that pillow? <laughs> oh yeah, we should play snog Mary pie. Okay, I'm down for the game. Okay, I'll start with Mickey then. Okay, let's see. I definitely snog Harry, he's just so handsome. Mickey and Harry might get it on. Not get it on, but get on. Mickey looks at you guiltily. Harry would snog, Mickey would snog Harry. Girl, I don't blame you. Shoot your shot, you never know. This is Love Island. And like I said already, I'd pie Seb. It's bad enough you skipped over Mary. I mean, why did you, come on, say who you'd marry, girl. I wanna know. Yeah, I really need to get this off my chest. Ooh, what are you getting off, girl? Oh, he's just so, you know, what? She's talking about Seb. Miserable, he's always complaining. Ain't that the truth? Genevieve says, I think my pie goes to Camillo. Okay. Oh, that boy is too fine for his own good. Shoot. Viv would pie Camillo for being handsome. Let's throw some shade. Same girl, that's silly. That's a silly reason. Camillo would get more than a pie for me. Let's bring it back old school, day one. Camilla would get more than a pie from me. Oh, he would, would he? So Iona's claiming their man. She said, we'll see about that. Okay. 
I want a sense I'm more interested in Thotella's choices. The girls all turn and look at you. Who would I snog? I would snog probably Kieran. Yeah, Kieran is too cute because he's mega fit. There's a silence and all the girls exchange looks. Mickey says, mm, totally. He's a babe. <laughs> what about girl code? Girl code? Ain't none of you hoes coupled up with Kieran. He is a free spirit. As for Mary, I'd have to say, let's say Ty. I wanna know who's interested in Ty because he's got great chat, he's really fit, or he's really kind. He's got really great chat. We just had so many great conversations on our date. <laughs> oh man. AJ says Ty's awesome. Yasmin says plus he's beautiful even if his farts smell like death. Oh my gosh. And I'm gonna pie, drum roll please, Bill, Camilla, or Harry. I'm gonna pie Harry because Harry had second thoughts. You have second thoughts, you don't get to be with Thotella. <laughs> He's too handsome for his own good, lame. He's a bit too much sometimes, or I want to like pie off his face. Um, He's a bit too much sometimes. You know, sometimes I just want a bit of quiet time and it's like, here's Harry. <laughs> right, Iona, your go. Okay, Iona says I would defo snog Camillo. As far as who I'd marry, I'd have to say Kieran. Iona would marry Kieran. He's really lovely. He's the most handsome man I've seen. Is a chance I suppose. I'm gonna say he's really lovely. Iona says the sweetest. I am. I don't know him that well, but I can tell we're gonna get on great. Okay, so Iona might be shooting her shot at Kieran. Although on second thoughts, maybe I wouldn't exactly marry him. I'd definitely send him a cheeky nude or two. Okay, so we're getting into the nude talk. Oh, Ella Dean, call her out. So she says, not Camillo. Iona waves her hand. She's like, girl, yes, I'm sending them all. Him too. Would you do that? Send a nude to someone? Would I ever send a nude? Would Thotella send a nude? Definitely. As long as they ask for one. True. <sighs> so Mickey says plenty of guys have asked me to send nudes. So Mickey's not that type of girl. She's like, nope, haven't seen sent any nudes, which is cool. That's fine. And it's not everybody's cup of tea. I will say if you guys are looking for a podcast, a great podcast for single women, girls in relationships. Um, I watch it with my fiance all the time. It's Call Her Daddy, the podcast. It is raunchy as hell. So do not watch it on your phone with the speaker turned up. Put your headphones in or do it in your car with the privacy of yourself. It is so freaking funny. So Mickey gets sent a lot of dick pics. I get loads as well. Oh yeah. Fatella, she's getting dick pics left and right. Where were we in the game anyway? Was it someone's turn? Ooh, me, my turn. Okay, so AJ's going next. She says, I'm gonna snag Yasmin because I think she's really fit. Okay, so looks like AJ's gonna shoot her shot. AJ wants to marry Kieran. He thinks, oh, she thinks he's really sweet and lovely. So it seems like Kieran is becoming this hot commodity for the girls. And I'm gonna pie Seb because he used my towel the other day. Ew, that is disgusting. Okay, so Yasmin's up. She says she wants to snog Thotella. Feel yourself blushing. Okay, so Thotella, what's gonna be our response? What are we doing? Yasmin would snog me. Maybe you'll get a chance in your dreams or kiss me right now then. Oh, call her out. Kiss me right now then. Oh, Yasmin doesn't hesitate and leans across the circle, placing her soft lips on yours. Okay, you know I love them bold. You know Thotella loves them bold. She likes them when they pull it, pull all the stops for her. Only you can hear the small sound of pleasure that she makes. Okay, so she likes the kiss. Iona's like, woo, you go girls. Yasmin says, ah, just a bit of fun. Was it fun? That didn't feel just like fun. Exactly. Yasmin says, and I'd marry Thotella. Dang, girl. Yasmin wants to marry me. I'm gonna say, you're meant to choose different people. See if she'll change her person. Well, it's not my fault if you're the only name that keeps popping in her head. Wow. Okay, so it seems like Yasmin's really putting her eggs in our basket. And as for Pi, it would have to be Ty. Sorry, but it's gotta be. Oh man. He might be gorgeous and kind, but he farted in the tent on the first night. Oh no. And it was rank. So Ty's got stinky farts. 
<laughs> Everyone laughs. The game goes on for a little while longer. The girls start snuggling down into bed, wrapping their arms around pillows and nearby women. Here's what I will I will say. I wish they would have done Ella Dean because that would have been the T sis. Yasmin, psst, Patella. Yasmin is whispering to you. Okay, so Yasmin, what you want, girl? She says, what's up? Did you know there's a hot tub outside? Hold up. You mean we could have been in the hot tub this whole time? I know, right? So I was thinking that maybe you and I could spend a little more one-on-one -on -one time together. Okay. So Yasmin wants to do some one-on-one -on -one time with us. Do we want to do it alone? Okay. Yasmin invited me out to the hot tub. Let's go hot tubbing. Hell yes. Wow, the, the, the graphics are really nice. You can kind of see what took so long and why they're so little. That was quite a game. Thanks for not recoiling in horror when I picked you to marry. I mean, it's just a game. Let's see. Oh crap, I told you I had a crush on you as well, didn't I? Yeah, you sure did, because you said you wouldn't kiss us, and then you did. So Yasmin's glad I didn't recoil when she picked me. I mean, I don't care. You don't have to say thank you, because at the end of the day, like, Tatella wants to be chosen by everybody for everything. <laughs> I was really happy when you did. Okay, so seems like Thotella's kind of shooting her shot. Yasmin looks down and then up at you. Her hair falls in a dark curtain around her eyes. You're very far away. Hmm. So she wants us to scoot closer. Yasmin wants me to sit next to her. Go ahead, girl. Sit on next to her. Yasmin's shooting her shot. Let her shoot it. You shuffle around to the other side of the tub and you don't stop until your thighs are gently touching. Yasmin looks at you and smiles softly. I hope this isn't a weird thing to say, but you remind me of the first person I kissed. So we knew we'd most likely never see each other again, and we never did. Wow, so she kissed somebody she knew she would never see again. Yasmin's first kiss was with a girl she met at the airport. I mean, that to me sounds pretty romantic. The odds of you even meeting each other in the first place were so slim, and you still managed to have a special moment together. Thinking about that kiss made me realize what a strange and unpredictable world this is. Yasmin is very deep. I mean, this girl, like, she's deep. Most things are just beyond our control or understanding. So, like, if we're looking for someone who's going to tame Thotella, I think Yasmin would be that person. So it's no good stressing about what might have been. What happened has happened. So what about you? Do you remember the first time you kissed a girl? I'm gonna say it was magical. The first time I properly kissed a girl, it was magical. You never forget your first time, right? Well, if you wanna do it again right now. Okay, so it seems like Yasmin's trying to kiss us. I'm right here. Do we wanna kiss Yasmin? Without breaking eye contact, she reaches out and touches your hand. Yasmin wants to kiss me. Go in for the kiss, wait for her to do it or change the subject. Let's wait for her to do it because that way if someone says you kissed Yasmin, we can say, nah, she kissed me. <laughs> that's so messed up, but that's not Tella for you. She says, don't tease me. She smiles and leans in to kiss you. See if there are sparks flying. When your lips meet, she gives a little sigh of happiness. Her small hands slide into yours, tangling your fingers together. You are incredible. So yeah, then she's kissing you properly again, teasing you with tongue. Okay, so this is like an intense kiss happening in the hot tub right now while everyone else is sleeping. For a while, nothing else in the world seems to matter at all. Okay, so I was waiting for some kind of like spark. Am I interested in Yasmin? Definitely just keeping my options open or actually I like AJ. I'm gonna say just keeping my options open. I don't want to rule out where that could lead now that I think about it. AJ is the only one for me, but I didn't say that. That might be like a glitch in the system. The lads find out what happened on the hideaway. Okay, so this one wasn't too bad. It seemed like it was a little bit of a filler episode just because it was a girl sleepover. We played a pillow fight and we played snog, Mary, and pie and had a little bit of a one-on-one -on -one time with Yasmin. So Yasmin is very deep, she's open. She seems like if Thatel is looking for someone to calm her thoughty ways, that might be the route we wanna take. So, thoughts. Let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in me playing season two, being shady as ever, and trying to lose purposely. I will definitely see you guys on Tuesday morning 
once we drop day six. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Have a great rest of your week and a great weekend. Peace out.